And the gate drops in, and away they go up the hill then into this first right-hander. And it looks like Arne Dierkins then. Arne Dierkins then in for the lead. Looks as though Williamson's in behind him, trying to get through there. So, do we have Dierkins, Williamson, Van Lukenen. Oh, it's a pile up there. So, Arne Dierkins from Daniel Williamson, from Marvin Van Lukenen, from Etienne Bax as they go away towards the middle of the circuit into this right-hander. Dierkins then out in front from Williamson, Van Lukeren, backs there, the 82 machine. These, dri these drivers and passengers will be working hard there as you see Williamson trying to keep that machine going forward. Varick also there trying to gain an advantage but is also coming under pressure from Kuhn Hermans and Nicolas Marset, the Dutch-French pairing. Oh, and Williamson made a mistake there and the sidecar came up. That allowed Barrett through and Hermans through. So Williamson losing two places there. That's very unlike Williamson to make a mistake and he has Davy Sanders in there behind him, the number nine machine. So can Sanders pressurise him to make another mistake? As we have yellow flags, I'm not sure what's happened there. Looked like Van Lukenen maybe has made the mistake in the whoops. I will let you know as they come back through then. So, Barrick goes through. Hermans goes through. Williamson goes through the shot. So, Bax is up into second place then. So, there must have been a problem from Van Lukenen. So, Barrick and Hermans there in shot. Nicholas Massett the Frenchman for Hermans. So, as they drop down towards the middle of the circuit there, Farrakhan then going slightly wide. Hermans tries to come inside and get the power on, and has got managed to get the power on to go round the outside and shuts the door in Varick. So, Varick loses a spot there. So, now Hermans is in the chase to hunt down backs as we look at Marvin van Luken and Ben van der Bogart. So, whether they had a tumble down the bottom end of the circuit in the whoops, I think it must have been. So, now, Marvin, can he get his head together and chase and make some points, salvage some points in this race? So, the championship is only six points between him and Bax. Big landing, heavy landing there. Just looks over to make sure Ben is there. Over the little hip jump, another little ski jump into this right-hander. Backs again then, goes for the inside line this time. Has he got the power? Side by side then over the big tabletop. Oh, a big jump from Deakins. Backs backed out of that one. Just opted to jump, uh, to jump short. Deakins opted to jump long and it paid off for the youngster. So, the youngster now has a little bit of breathing room but cannot let his guard down as Bax will try everything he can. Tries the inside line this time. Not quite enough. So, so drop over that hip jump again. Bax goes for the inside line this time. Unfortunately, not able to, but as he managed to get the power down this time, a long side drops back in behind Deakins. Deakins goes close. Bax tries to come around the outside, unable to this time. Dickens again tries the inside, but Bax goes for that further inside line. And they're alongside. Bax has got it this time. Bax has managed to get inside him this time. Good move from Bax. So now Etienne Bax, Casper Stuplis into the lead. You see Hermans then just dropping to the outside and try and square Dickens up, but Dickens comes nice and tight. Hermans then tries to squirt this machine up the inside. Can't quite make it this time. Hermans then opts for that inside line from where Bax overtook him on the previous lap. So Bax out in the lead. A couple of seconds gap and Hermans goes for the outside. Drops over the outside of uh, Deakins there. Deakins just left the door open slightly and Hermans was through. So Hermans and Massette. Can they chase down backs? One and two go away from 
you in shot and Deakins and Varick looks as though Varick now is putting Deakins under pressure. So can the youngster Belgian hold the Estonian and he's made a mistake. Made a mistake there, allowed Varick through then. So Varick now up into third place. So Deakins, whether he is tired, slightly made a mistake. The chair came up, whether it grabbed hold of some dirt. Backs, stupidest then, up past the pit boards. Backs, stupidest, take the win then. So that's a race win for Backs and stupidest. Hermans must set through in second. As we wait then for the third place man, Sh should be Varick. As we see them backs, Stupilis acknowledging the crowd as we wait patiently then for the next place man. And it is, it is Varick. So Varick Dalers take third place. Brilliant ride for the Estonian Lapland pairing. So five second board then goes as we wait for this gate to drop. And away they go then for the second race of the day. Let's see who takes the whole shot this time. And it looks like Bax then. The 82 machine of Bax goes into the Davy Sanders. Looks as though he is there in second. Kubin's there in the number 17, unfortunately. So Bax is out in front. Second place is Sanders. Third is Hermans. Fourth is Van Lukenen. Arne Deakins is fifth. Sixth. Looks like Cooch. Seventh is Varick. Oh, as Tanner Resner collects his passenger after a tumble. So, backs. Sanders under pressure early from Kuhn Hermans. So, Sanders, can he hold them off? And backs, can he make the dash and gap the rest of this field? So, Sanders holding off Hermans. Hermans made a mistake and tips it over. Hermans just makes a mistake. Pitches the front end and pitches them both over the front. So these pair have got a lot to do to get back up. So Compilati manages to get away. Van Werven manages to get going again. Brown stuck in behind him and looks as though Santamans is starting to come. That's Justin Kubin. So back with the second and third place Davy Sanders is still holding off Marvin van Lukenen and Ben van der Bogart but for how much longer as Bax is away oh Deakins has had a problem so it looks as though Deakins has uh, made a mistake somewhere so van Lukenen then has got in front of Davy Sanders so we missed that eight of shot. Marvin van Lukenen then has passed Davy Sanders. Now can Sanders hang on to van Lukenen's shirt tails and pull them up towards backs? I will get my stopwatch on the gap when they come through next time. Can he make up all this ground? And also Hermans needs to make as much room as he can as you see there does in does drives inside of Santamans makes the pass stick big jump down that tabletop to the bottom end of the circuit and his next pair are Van Werven and Compilati in front of him so finished second in the first race needs to start working hard Looks like he's lying maybe in the top 10, just. That will not do his points any good. As we look at Stuart Brown there, just slightly stalled the bike in there. Zeno Compilati goes through, Van Werven through, and there is Hermans. Hermans, I think, must be just inside the top 10. Yes, 10th, but a long way down time-wise. Can Kinge make another pass stick? Drives up the inside this time, but unfortunately, as you see, the left-hand chair cannot get the grip up through there. Kings will now come round the outside this time. Has to go the long way round, but has made that pass stick. Dives down the inside then. That's a fantastic move from, from Kings and Gray, the youngsters. 
riding really, really well. Good points for the youngster. So made that pass stick down behind the commentary box then as they come up the hill towards the finish line. So Kinge, great go through shot. So Herman's trying to pressurise Stuart Brown, the Macclesfield boy from England, the carpenter by trade with Josh Chamberlain in the chair and he dives it deep in there unfortunately couldn't get the power back on and Hermans just dives up the inside but Brown now gets the power back on can he make this stick unfortunately not so Hermans up another spot this will have to be very quick to see who's brave enough to jump out over the top here so Hermans now may have the inside line going into this next right hand unfortunately not quite close enough though but Davy Sanders goes wide Hermans tries to put the power down and does so. So, Hermans then out jumps Davy Sanders. But Davy Sanders is going the inside. Decides not to this time. Backs out of that one. So, now Sanders coming under pressure from Brown. Brown goes round the outside. Brown makes that move stick as well. So, Davy Sanders lost two spots in three corners. So, now Hermans up another spot. Stuart Brown through. Davy Sanders. Big fist pumps from Kaspers. So Etienne Bax, Kasper Stuplis then take the win. Take the overall. That's a double today. Brilliant ride. Absolutely brilliant ride from the pair. So championship classifications. Etienne Bax, Kasper Stuplis on the top spot. Marvin van Luke and Ben van der Bogart. Kuhn Hermans, Nicholas Musset in third. Sanders is fourth. Five is Brown. Six is Arnie Dirkins. Seventh is Williamson. Eight is Kurt Varick. Ninth is Giro. And tenth is Zeno Compilati.